Hello, everybody. Welcome to day one of our uh, US 2021 SPDK, PMDK, and Intel Performance Analyzers uh, virtual forum. Uh, we have a lot of stuff for you over the next three days. Um, hopefully, uh, you'll find it interesting. I know uh, the team's really excited. Um, and so with that, you know, we'll get we'll get started. I'm uh, Nate Marshak uh, with Intel. Um, my team is responsible for a lot of the storage acceleration software for the data center. Okay, before we get too far into things, let's maybe go through some of the event logistics. Uh, you'll have a, a bar over there on the left. There's a QA and a um, section uh, where you can ask questions. You can vote up, you know, the ones you like. Uh, responses will follow the presentation, of course. Um, your audio and visual is, uh, video is disabled. Obviously not for the presenters. That would end up being pretty boring, I think. Um, the sessions will be recorded. Uh, and they'll be available for playback after um, the conclusion of the virtual event. Uh, the session surveys um, are there, please do use them. Uh, we will have a raffle and there will be prizes and it's based on um, you responding to the session surveys. A little bit about the prizes. Um, there'll be 10 of them raffled off each day. Um, you know, you basically can kind of tell where you're at the more um, the higher you are on the engagement leaderboard, the more chances you have to win. Um, each survey completed increases your chances of winning. Here's some of the, the uh, things you can win. You can win some Chromebooks, um, some iPads, some you know, uh, Bose uh, wireless you know, headphones. Uh, there's a Rise Tech uh, quadcopter, um, you know, which can be kind of fun for folks. And then there'll be some you know, Adidas, Intel branded um, you know, apparel. All right, uh, so some recent uh, news uh, regarding the storage performance development kit uh, that might be of interest. One billion IOPS. Um, well, maybe not quite, we're not quite there yet, but um, we are you know, seeing 14 million IO per second per core um, using you know, Xeon CPUs. Um, and we have demonstrated and actually written an article about um, having both the software and the hardware um, achieving 80 million IOPS in, in 2U, which is you know, really unprecedented, uh, something that only a few years ago we could only dream about. So uh, a lot of great stuff going on. We have a, an SPDK symbol. Uh, you know, so for the longest time, uh, this was something that we talked about doing, but never uh, really found something we were, were happy with or, you know, finished. Uh, so, you know, some, some things about lockdown were good. We, we had some time to, to really focus on this. Um, and, you know, ultimately, uh, you know, over the last six to nine months, um, we, we, you know, came up with the, this symbol. Uh, we announced it in March. Uh, there's... Um, Branding information, you know, for uh, rules and things uh, of that nature, um, dictating how it can be used or can't be used. So, you know, if you're interested, go off and, and check out the link there below on, on spdk.io. Uh, and lastly, uh, we went through and um, updated our website. Um, it's, a, it's a new design. Uh, it's more mobile friendly. Uh, I don't know if anybody had tried before to actually bring up spdk.io on their, on their phone or or tablet, it didn't, it didn't display very well. Uh, that launched uh, just, just a little bit ago here in May. And Ben Walker, one of our uh, esteemed core maintainers, um, got his PhD in web design. Well, actually, he didn't, he didn't but he, he's uh, responsible for the new site and the original one, to be honest, too. But uh, we're pretty happy with it. Um, so go check it out. And with that, let's you know talk a little bit about uh, what we're gonna you know be speaking on here today. Uh, in a few minutes, uh, Jim Harris will join us uh, and give us a state of the union um, for SPDK. You know he'll talk about uh, you know where the community's at, where the technology is at, and you know some some information about what you know what's coming down the pipe in the future. Uh, and then after that, Ben Walker and Paul Luce. Uh, will we'll join us uh, and you know give us an update on cloud native and and how SPDK is intercepting 
uh, cloud native and, and ways we you know are, are looking to try and, and help that effort. Uh, after that, Carol Datetsky and John Karayuki will join us um, and give us you know an update on you know where things stand with performance and power efficiency. Uh, so that that talk should be a lot of fun. We'll have a break. Uh, and then we'll, we'll come back and dig into the VFIO uh, user protocol, uh, which is really about virtualizing NVMe devices, um, you know, for use um, in user space applications. Um, ben Walker um, from Intel and Thanos Makados from Nutanix will actually uh, come in and talk to us, um, you know, about that topic. That'll be followed up by some demos. Uh, we'll, we'll go through and talk about SPDK top. Uh, which is, you know, an SPDK version um, of the standard Linux top, and they'll dig into why um, there's an SPDK version and talk about how it works. Um, we'll also give um, an update on dynamic thread scheduling. Uh, so this is something that the community has been working on, uh, you know, to power up cores when there's more workload, power down cores, you know, be able to uh, move workloads from one core to another, um, in order to consume less energy, right, less power. Uh, and that'll be done, the first SPDK talk, top talk will be done by uh, Shustav Karas. Um, dynamic thread scheduling will be by Maciej Shved. And then um, Monica Kanguva will come in and, and talk to us a bit about um, the container storage interface uh, for SPDK and how it bolts into Kubernetes. And last, Jim will come back on and uh, give us some closing comments and a little bit of a recap. Um, and that'll be it for day one. And we'll move on to, to day two. So with that, um, Jim Harris, uh, principal software engineer um, with Intel, one of our core maintainers in the SPDK community is gonna come and, and talk about the state of the union. Jim, why don't you go ahead and take it away? 